Real Meat Radio. Welcome to the backstage plug and play in the podcast, the Shocktober, Rocktober, Rock Talk podcast. Plug and play indie channels, inspiration, sensation of an internet rock and roll station. Influenced by the mentor and guided by none other than the Minister of Rock, Captain of Blues, Administrator of the Rock Scene, the Hit Raider, Emil Faz from the Rock Den. Paired up with the fastest from the West, the no man can contest, don't settle for the rest, the voice behind Hell Yeah Radio, the station rocks the worldwide nation, Holly Dean, a one of a kind, three radio stations combined to rule the indie generation. We're trying to make it mainstream. Hell Yeah Baby, coming to you 3P Thursdays with uh, Medio Bass, Hell Yeah Rock. Radio and uh, Plug and Play Indie, coming to you live, uncensored to the big show, beside it to you. Why? Because I said so. From backstage here me to you, let's uh, sign off and we'll get back to you. Welcome to the Backstage Zoomcast. I am the manager, producer, director, set designer, and media enthusiast. Today we have three radio hosts on the panel, Emilio Vaz from the Rock Den. He's a finalist of the International Sing Song Writers Association of the DJ of the Year and writers for the Rock Scene Hit Parader and a radio host for MixLR. Along with Paul DeVoe, a.k.a. Paulie D, a former guitarist from heavy metal band Ritual and a former owner of the Ultimate Flight Case Company for the Stars and also a radio host for Hell Yeah Radio Station, along with myself from Plug and Play Indie Radio, an inspiration of sensation of a rock and roll internet radio station. Today's a topic of the day is three radio stations debuting independent artists on all three stations from the three local areas from Southern Ontario to East Coast, New Jersey to California, promoting, uh, working together to keep the local music scene alive by announcing shows and displaying three talent their talents on internet across the world wide web, where the music today leaning into the future with today's music scene, taking a toll on the music industry and recording labels and production company. All right, Paulie D, thanks for uh, come, going to, uh, to the Zoom cast today. Hey, I'm how you doing? Good, I, good. I appreciate you having me on for one, two. Um, I'm gonna explain, Emilio Vez had a, um, a port meeting okay that he had to go to okay so we're doing this and if he comes in and gets done with the meeting it was important to his the hit parader so we're gonna do this okay so how are you doing today good thanks man i've been planning this and uh kind of excited i was hoping the media will be on here on board with this because he is the captain of blues and the minister of rock and he got me into radio hosting uh radio shows and i have two from plug and play indie listen to my radio and mix lr with uh with you guys so i want to go three of us uh with trying to make uh independent artists a mainstream correct 100 percent. it's your concept um of putting it together and i came into it and you know i'm good i'm actually really good friends with you now <laughs> yeah that's good man that's good well we share the same interests music correct. Uh, I play bass, you play guitar, a media uh, is on the radio, we're all radio enthusiasts, and this is fun, and, and no better time to start a radio station in this time and age with the uh, pandemic, uh, COVID-19, uh, you know, coronavirus, you know, stuff yeah. going on. Even wrote a song, uh, Pandemic Antidote. Uh, I, I think you played it on your oh, radio yeah, station. Yes, I played on a hell yeah radio, man. A couple yeah, of it, times for you. Uh, you yeah. know what? I have to. That just remind me. I'm going to have to put it on my mix LR. I totally forgot. It's on SoundCloud. It's on my other radio station, and I need to put it on uh, mix LR. Yeah, hey, we'll get it. We'll get it up there. Um, I got to ask you a question, man. Between me and you, okay? You, you um, we've been through all different types of music, both of us, okay? Right. You're, you're, you're a music lover, right? Of course. Everybody that, is. That's why you started this for indie radio. Actually, Ritual was um Ritual was an indie band. Okay. We we were on our own independent label. Okay. So right. I understood where your concept was coming from when you said 
let's get three Thirsty Thursday, three DJs together. Right. And and promote the indie thing. So I got to ask um, you a question. And um, like I said, when Vez gets back here, um, when Vez comes in, whether it's the next time, things happen in life that you can't happen. So we apologize for that. But we keep the show must go on. And that's what I say. What do you think about the whole deal of the... Um, with the with the stuff with going on in the world with the music business shutting it down man well that's that's the thing right now uh it shut it put a crisis on the world uh the businesses small mom and pops are closing uh this is a serious uh virus that's uh, it's uncontrollable the uh, president trump's got it his wife's got it so whether they inject themselves whatever they have some antidote it's still I'm not it's I'm still, not gonna go there, bro. <laughs> bleach. Who knows what they use? But nah, well uh, no, nah, nah, he, he actually he was that that was a, a sarcastic thing. I'm not gonna get into the politics. But you know what? I, I really would like to put a shout out out to um some people out there, okay? And a shout out is to all roadies, especially the musicians, okay, the techs, the guys that cut pipes, staging, production companies the rocket cargo and all that dudes all the flights for the bands and all that stuff because right. now it's basically with no one's doing it, it's basically i just thought about this you know what i thought about bro i thought about the bigger bands they're like indie they're all indie now because they're not doing nothing they can't well i'm sure they're still recording uh i saw no. i saw well, i mean live show uh, all the all the uh I forget the name of the song, but uh, they're all recovering artists and they all wrote together this song and played on this song. Uh, what's his name from Five Finger Death Prince, uh, Punch and uh, oh, okay. Corey, Corey Hart, I think was Corey one Taylor. of them. Corey, me? Corey Taylor. Taylor, sorry. Yeah. And, no, that's a problem. Um, I thought that was cool. So uh, they're recovering addicts and they wrote a song about it. Yeah, what I was saying, but what I'm saying is when the whole music business, and I went through this back in 9-11, right? It shut the industry down, not this bad. It, it bounced back in about a year or two, all right? And it was a struggle. But right. what I'm saying is as a major artist with these guys not playing out, it's almost like going back to everybody's indie now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at one time, uh, Led Zeppelin was indie, right? And yeah. Aerosmith, Smith, they well, started with them somewhere not and somebody picked them up. Exactly. But with them not doing nothing and them can't do any shows, it's like they're going to record. It's like they're like an indie artist. Again. It's like they started out all. It's like starting all over again, man. It's starting from the beginning. Right. And I don't know, you know, being in this business, I used to be able to call shots, Johnny. And I, people have asked me, um, you know, I bring artists on Hell Yeah Radio and Paris right. Black has talked to Britain and up in your area, the Canada area, that the whole, the bar scene is like shutting down drastically. I mean, we don't have too much left here in Jersey with the music. Hold on, hold on. We got a medial vase on here. I can't get him on my phone. How you doing? Hello? Oh my goodness. Bear with me. Hello. He's got a text and he got an email from me. There he is. He's trying to uh, join our uh, meeting Vez. here. Hey, Vez, check your check your email. Check your email. We're we're uh, hosting a Zoom cast right now through Pauly D. I apologize for the inconvenience earlier. We started the podcast without all three participants, so we're having trouble. So uh, you're invited to Pauly D. Check your email and log in and you should be on here shortly and recording so uh, we're just talking about the uh, the recording industry and record labels and production companies uh that are uh losing money and everybody's losing money and not uh sharing the wealth and what have you are you still there no nah, he's trying to get into his email probably Oh. So getting getting back, um, what I'm saying is um, 
I've been doing this for a long time as, as much since I've been five, I picked up a guitar playing stages. Right. And I, I've seen Video guys, there he is. Let's admit him. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. All right. There he is. Hey, Hey, uh, better late than sorry than late. <laughs> or late than sorry. You know, you know what? Hold on. Before we get into anything here, what the phone call I had to take, okay, and I just got off like two minutes ago. Well, benefit uh, us all, okay? Okay. I, I got a meeting with this guy, 11 p.m. on October 15th. Now this guy, and there was Vance from Australia listening in, and uh, 11 p.m. October 15th, going to be going live from Las Vegas with him, okay? And it's, uh, like he told me, it, it's like a one and a half hour interview. So it, it'll benefit us DJs and all that. I want you to tune in that day. I'll give you all the specifics as okay. we get closer to the date, all right? So, all right so, okay, we're on now. Okay, now where I was leaving off, as I said like this, I was oh, saying- Oh, did you, what would you do to your hair? Did you tease it? Nah, 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 nah. Let's and what go. happened to you? What'd you your hair? What'd you do to your hair? Flatten it, dude. Now you know what I'm gonna do. Wait, 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 bro. You know what? I didn't use enough Aquanet yet. You're gonna look bald when I. <laughs> hey, so how you doing, man? I slept under the I slept under the pillow. All right. <laughs> so, so we're gonna. I, I was John brought in and we started. Out, I want to get a view on something and and tell me if I'm off track. I mean, you talk about indie artists, right? And yeah. what this whole mess dumped the music business into, right? Now, even the big wow. artists, this the, even with the big artists, they're all down to indie artists now because they're not playing stages. It's like they started all over again. Am I wrong with this? No, that's right. That's correct. So I was thinking about this. I thought about this before I came on. And I was like, wow, man, you know what? Every artist is an indie artist right now. Yeah. And with it, I, I gave a shout out to this the two places like rocket cargo the stage hands the guys that do staging the the techs um the musicians 100 percent, and all the guys that the record labels the writers the the people that do the press even yo like it, it's getting this has gone overboard that it really this is the worst i've ever seen in the music business oh it's bad and you know what i just got a i got a memo this morning that there's a music club about um, I don't know an hour for about forty five minutes. Uh, the London Music Club. Now, not not to be confused with the London Music Hall. All right. Now he's basically saying, well, you know what? We're trying to check these tough times, but we're actually looking to sell the building now too because of the way the music industry is going. It, it's it's bad. Yeah. Now we got only out here in Jersey, right? We got <laughs> Starland left, right? Now, that's a big place for a big amount of property. Now they haven't been they've been they haven't been open for really nothing. So if Starland closes, the New York is in a, a turmoil, man. That's it's. Yeah. It, I, I don't think the music business ever recovered after 9-11, to tell you the truth. I'm being well, You know what? It's, it's It got a lot better compared got better. to 4.3 yeah. right now. Correct. Because we're in the second wave, and I think the economy is going to get shut down again, which will be the fucking end to live performances, I think. Well... I just think, I don't know no. if it is, um, yeah. which is really cool. John, This you, you'll be interested in this because I know you guys, you like Sabbath, Kiss, whatever. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It's hard for these guys like Ace Frilly, and i just seen this. Ace is not like on a technical end with Zoom and stuff. Yeah. So he got on just like we we're on Zoom and the camera didn't go on. And he's having trouble getting on because these guys go into. I, I talked to Sammy Marandino one time from Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Well, I don't like to do interviews. I just want to play, and that's what these guys got into. They didn't really want to be on interviews to tell you the truth. They right. really, it's they true. just want to play and get yeah. up, do their thing. It's a fact. And when you do hold an interview with these musicians, it right. shouldn't be any more than fifteen minutes. If they give you 15 minutes. Exactly. Like tonight, I got kicks coming on. I got the guitar That's player from cool, kicks. And I hope you guys would come over, you know, come over. And uh, it's probably going to only be a 15 minute interview with yeah. probably an hour worth of music. Yeah. yeah. After he's off. That's pretty good. And, um, you know, it's, I told you, John, John had the concept of this talking to you and I jumped in with you guys with it. Cause I thought, you know, you get, he had a good idea. It's a good idea to put three 
indie indie artists and that you put them on and you play them. Yeah. Okay. And then another from another side, and I would like to eventually get a fourth person on the California side. Yeah. To come in here actually to almost make a diamond of that would whole, be a square. That would be a square. Well, no, I'm talking about the point of Canada to California. And I actually go to Texas, get one from Texas. We brought five in here, it'd be great. But it, it would cover all the areas, even and the middle would come into all of us. Right? Like we surround the United States to get these people in here and get, you know, talk and get these artists exposed. Because I'm finding out with Hell Yeah Radio, there's a lot of good music out there that people have not heard. It's been left on the shelf. All throughout the world. I mean, the abundance of talent. Good material. Now, you got bad material, too. But you got an abundance of good material. And you know what? Again, the, yeah, that's that's my dream, actually. Just making a some kind of a, 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 a syndicate of, of uh, DJs, if you will. It's not the proper word, but, you know, you get the, the gist of it. Of, uh, you know, exactly. oh, you got that music from there. You're bringing it in. That music from there, you're bringing it in. And that sort of thing. Uh, well, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, man, this Jeremy band, I never heard of. He sent me, they sent me a package, right? Of 25 songs. Is that Hollywood and, Burnouts? What? Are the uh, Hollywood Burnouts from Germany? No, no. This was another band I never heard of. They sent me the package, right? And I opened the zip file. And I just heard this drummer. And this, the drummer, the band was amazing. It was like, they should have been signed. They should have been in the eighties and that whole thing with uh, scorpions and you know that whole Germany crowd. Yeah. As much as Bonfire, I mean Bonfire is an unknown band really to the states and they're killer. And I yeah. just think these unknown bands, they need a chance to get exposed out there and have even if it's been left over for twenty years ago, they the record companies really messed up. I'm sorry. You know what? If we can create some sort of a channel. Again, like with what you mentioned about uh, DJs from the East Coast to the West Coast, North and South, okay, and maybe charge, let's say, five dollars, okay, to have this on, you know, I don't know, uh, this, I'm just throwing it out there, charging, you know, five dollars for whatever you want to listen to at that particular day, and of course we got to announce it, but then we got to tell them what bands are going to be on. Now, now, you know what we're doing, okay? So, so it's, say we charge five ten, that's fair, right? Okay, even, okay, so I go, I go out and um, I get my crew and I take a Zoom, uh, um, uh, a GoPro camera, right? Yeah. So we film, you film the concert and you come in and you actually have the three, these people doing live shows. You could actually do live eight, man. If I'm, I, you got, I, I told you about this concept, you brought it to me and we were throwing it around. Yeah. But if you did that, now, the thing that upset me, you want to know if something what upset me the other day? What's that? And it's, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to go off on the thing. It's a cruise that someone is charging 45 bucks. And I think you know, and they're charging people 45 bucks on to watch this. 46 and change. I know what you're you know who I'm talking about, right? That son of a bitch. I yeah. Mean, he's a hell of an artist. Yeah, he's but he, he's a, an established artist. He doesn't need any money, and he's charging to the well. In today's terms, it's a little more, you know, if he was more reasonable with a price, maybe. But not okay, so dead. we're going to so take it I, back. I don't want to mention names. I don't exactly, mention that's why I said I Sammy took it out. Sammy Hager. Sammy Hager. Okay, so you got it. I, I like your style, bro. I was trying to bite my tongue on that one, but. You know, oh. I don't think Ross would have pulled that. So, I, but we'll keep. I just added that in for the two cents. Yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying <laughs> that was a good one, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, man. I'm gonna let's go back. We're gonna bring it back, John. You remember when you watched MTV? Okay, we all got. Yeah. We all wow. I want my MTV. We all ran home, man. Video killed the radio star. All right, yeah. Yeah. that should have made the major hit. Okay, so we're gonna take it back before yeah. MTV. You know what it was? Friday well, it was FM, FM radio. No, Friday Night Rock started. On oh, TV. yeah, uh, the rock pile. Rock it pile actually yeah. started Friday Night Rock. She would go on, and I remember the first concert. Uh, Don either... Thurster's Rock Pile, and there was another one. Yeah, 
Billy, it was actually quarter flash did the first one. So Friday, I didn't go out. The next Friday, Billy Squire was on. So I stayed in. Can I ask you a question? Ask I me if getting, you like. I wasn't getting charged 10 bucks to watch them. No, no. Yeah, yeah. And the times were a lot better. You could actually charge at that time and people would pay. If they had it, they would have paid $45, yeah. $50 to see yeah. a show like that. Because, because of the abundance of talent coming up and everybody. And you know what? These Those times were when you go up to the record store and buy that album, the vinyl, and what have you, and you, you had no problem spending money on uh, music. Because, well, because, to be quite honest, there wasn't such social media sites as there is now either. So, well, yeah. every, you know. Go ahead, Paulie. Well, I, I got to tell you something, man. You know what? I, I'm still getting over the, the Sammy Hagar thing, man. Yeah. But, no, no, no. The way you came in on it, it was it was definitely comical. But, you know, I, I give anyone, everybody's got the right to make a living. Yeah. But this business, as long as I've been in it, I'm sorry. I've always called it. I put in articles that it was always like, everybody's out for the skin. They weren't out to, I was for the music. I was for the musician. And I stuck up. With Napster, with a lot yep. of stuff I, yep. I went for, man. And it was for the musician. I didn't care how big you were, how small you were. If you were getting stepped on, I jumped in the fight. Yeah, for sure. And did, ditto, ditto. Yeah, I mean, I've always been about the music and the musician. And I miss those times. I mean, I, I really miss not going out to clubs. When they were, you know, when you could actually... You know what? I spent many a time in a hot, hazy, smoky venue. Rough venue, as you did. Correct. Uh, and, and John, I know John likes these, uh, you know, these venues as well. And he's uh, promoted 10, 10 uh, indie concerts himself. Yes, so, I have. Well, yeah. I've, been, I've been with the Mud Children. When you go to Lollapalooza, dude, and you got to work that show, doing yeah. cases, I was yeah. went up to my ankles, I, actually my knees. <laughs> you hit a bad mud pit, you get a flat, man, up to your knees. But... Yeah. um. I'm saying to you guys, and I'm asking both of you right now, um, it's John's show. John, do you miss really, and I, I want to take this back. That's why this show is going to be with the three indie things. Do you guys really miss going to the record shop and miss that day and age of grabbing a vinyl album? And I, I, dude, I still got, I mean, I got the original ritual back there, but with it, I used to, I'm just using for example, right? I used to love grabbing this and going like this. Wow, man. Look at, look at this. You know, like when yeah. physical graffiti, I miss them days, man. You know? Yeah. You know what? That was entertainment on its own going to the yeah. record shop and, you know, going through the freaking vinyl. And I mean, you spent time in there. I know I did. And I was always looking forward to seeing what new music would come out and shit like that. I was so there almost was, every day. I don't know about you. Yeah, it was an event. It, it was it was an event, and it was an exciting event. Now you know you got this. I mean, I don't know how to. I mean, wow, it's it's going. I don't even know how to explain it. Well, how do you how do you feel about it, John? How do you feel about not buying out? I, I I like the graphics they had on the albums, uh, and uh, you could open up the album, and you can read and sing along. Uh, that was that was a good one. That's another I, thing. I, well, no, wait, he said he mentioned something good, Vez. You ready for this one? Yeah, sing along. You could, no, you could actually read who was on the album without taking a microscope. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you can actually, the, a lot of them have the lyrics uh, inside the right, sleeve right. of the album. Yeah, he did. And then going into the bootleg section, that was a whole nother thing, man. There's actually an album store out here. It's called Sound Exchange at 23. Yeah. And <laughs> There's still, he has down his basement, he's still selling vinyl. <laughs> it's like the, oh man, give the dog. I'm sorry, I, I don't have my, uh, I don't have my pussycat here. My pussy, <laughs> uh, she took off for the day. But, um, you know, I miss them days. And I, I feel, I see, you know, when, when I was in ritual, it was like, put the switch on full. Yeah. Let's go hang up flyers. And you know what? I think it's going to revert back to that. It's got to. It has. Uh, it, that's the only way it can go. It's exactly. got to go back to that. I remember, you know, like weekend, okay, getting out, going downtown, going to the record store, purchasing the new, uh, you know, let's say, for example, the new Accept album. So I got the new uh, Accept album. I go down to one of my favorite uh, watering holes, which was Fry Fogles, 
And then they'd say, hey, listen, uh, that's a new album. You want us to spin it while you're in here? I said, sure. So they play it for you while you're in there, you know, having a few beers. Correct. Yeah. And you know, those were good times. Those, John, I remember down in Windsor, you guys used to have the Sand Dunes. Do you remember that? That was a kick ass rock venue. Oh, yeah. Or the Dunes. It was the Dunes. The dunes. Where, was that, where was that located, Buzz? Tell them, John. You're out there. Uh, that was on, uh, you're on church. It's been torn down uh, for 20, 30 years. They yeah. had uh, the Canada Tavern, biggest dance floor. They had, jeez. Uh, 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 that was in Windsor, Ontario. Right, yes. And then they had uh, the drop-in. They had uh, the Riv, Riviera. There was many of them. There was yeah, many of them. Of course, and uh, then, of course, you got the rock crowd from across the, the lake there, the river, Detroit River. Oh, there's so endless, of, endless, of endless. Rockers would go over to Windsor. Yes, uh, Harpo's Lounge. Oh, Harpo's there. That's still going, though. Uh, I don't know if it's it's shut down. Uh, it's shut down? It, it opened up, it reopened, yeah. and then it closed because uh, lack of participants. I don't know. i seen it really? open, and then it closed, yeah. Well, shortly after. You well, know I would like? I would like to bring one time, I'd like to bring Paris Black on. Would not be The Thursday Thursday is one thing. Yeah. But I'd like to bring Paris Black in here because he did a, he came, did an interview two weeks ago. He has a talk show with me, like I promote his music, and he was t he was pretty. With, he's traveled the world, so he was talking about Great Britain was about ready to give up. He talked about Canada for at least a half an hour about all the clubs, dude. So yeah. he was like right pinpoint. He had everybody pinned on this on what he was talking about how bad and it, it went back and forth that uh like i said if the musicians don't start going back to old school we have to they, they better stop thinking that the easy world now facebook check this out facebook last night on a band and i heard it 222 i just heard what she said they took her live video and as of last night with me, there was a big problem with Facebook. They're taking, they're not letting the people put up their, their live videos. They're taking them right down. No shit. They pulled it out last night. Facebook's doing it. So I'll tell you this, and I'm telling you this for both of you guys. I like Facebook. I've always been a lover of it, good or bad. You know, I don't hate no one on there. They can hate my guts. I don't really don't care. They could say, you do look yeah. like a lady, whatever. But you know what? I, I, I got to get more hairspray. Um, but you know what? It, it's got to the point that there is a platform. You ready for this? You guys never heard of MeWe. No. MeWe is. So hold on. I know exactly where you're going with this, Paulie, and I'm thinking the same thing. Here's our opportunity, okay, to bring in live videos and charging a fee for it or putting on, yeah, I mean, in some sort of concept. No, I got to tell you this, son. It's like Jed moving uh, the Beverly Hillbillies over to MeWe. It's the old platform. And you know what? You only got to pay $2 for the phone a month and the video. That's the way I think Facebook. Facebook has got it with this big change. Um, even to get stuff fixed. There's no numbers to call. There's no support. Um, this whole world has gone upside down. And that's why this thing is important to get these musicians out there and played of choices and get these people exposed that people hear a newer type of music that they've heard, but they didn't hear it because yeah. it never, it never got out there. It was the record companies pushing one band aside. Let's go back to uh, white trash. All right. Guns and roses come in, bang, screw you. Yeah. Bottom yeah. line. And I was there doing that whole thing, man. So I think it's, I think John's idea was on the money, you know, Thursday, Thursday, bring in three songs. Yeah. For sure. Three radio, with three radio stations. I agree totally. I mean, you know what? We got a really good ideas here, really good. We just got to iron out the, you know, the fucking wrinkles and make this thing work. Well, I, I you know, after I get done ironing out my head and put it flat again, I'll be all right, you know? <laughs> just sleep uh, under a pillow. Well, yeah, I told you, man, my hair changes color. You see how dark it is now? But, um, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I'm going to remember this, and this whole thing is recorded, right? 
On this day, you're going to see people start doing this. What we're doing. Is this thing recorded? Because I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, I, it's I recorded. Turned down, turned down Sammy Hager. Oh, oh, dude. I <laughs> we'll want to that out. No, oh, I want to. No, we get... won't, John. No, we won't. Because you know what? Another thing he said, and this is, and this is another thing that we all know. You cannot mix music and politics, okay? Now, I know there's uh, musicians out there that express, as they have in many, many years, okay, against the politics. Oh, like they didn't that. Okay. <laughs> but Sammy Hager went on as far as to say, okay, this is the first wave, uh, the first wave of COVID. If it means sacrificing a few people to the, to the pandemic, so be it, and as long as we don't lose the economy. That you do not do because who those said that. Wait, wait, wait. Who, about, who said who said that? Sammy Hager. Oh, I didn't catch that. You got to send. Oh, oh yeah, he went oh, out send, that. send me that over, bro. Because you know what? Because those are the people that have put you on freaking stage, Sammy. And now you're talking down because you have made it because of those uh, fans of yours, and you're talking like that. Oh, oh, wait, wait, you want to laugh? Are you sitting there? Don't fall off your chair with this one. That's like putting 9-11 when the planes are coming and we lose two people of a killing. Yeah, and yeah. that would have been some big shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not, that, was, that was disturbing, man. That but was but disturbing. Uh, what I'm saying is that's if you put it in a different realm that I just did, if it was the planes instead of the pandemic, then you would have a big argument out there. Because you know, what, you know how, I'm out how here. I, how, how can you not have a say when he says something like that? Uh, it wasn't. That's not right. They should to save the economy. That's garbage. That's insane. I, I, I just, I, you know what? I figure like this, dude. They could have made everything. The elections, all this. You know what? Put the thumbprint on. There's your, there's your thumbprint. Oh, I forgot you. You ready for this, guys? It is real. Wait, I gotta find it. Here, I just got it yesterday. Mail it in, and they might get it in the garbage. Oh. There's your voter ballot. Okay, so if I fill this thing out, I'll mail it in, and you think it's going to get there? There was that thing called Acorn, man. But that's beside the point, Biz. Hey, man, I hope everything works out for my American rock brothers and sisters Good. because it's it's a serious thing, yeah. and you know what? I yes, want nothing is. the best for you, okay? This, this is serious shit. Uh, dude, it's it's like I saw. I told you back back when you're when you know you, you know I'm out by New York and stuff. So I see. Hey, we got Katie, excuse me, gentlemen. We got Katie B coming in. All right, Katie. Katie B, rock on, sis. Okay, uh, I can't get her. Uh, via, I I've been inviting everybody, uh, and I can't get her. Uh, hold it, hold it. Wait. You can take care of that. I'm trying right now. All right, I gotta take a bathroom break here. No, you can't. Okay, type in and just tell it all one second. Tell I'm trying to get her in here. Invite. Uh, she's invited, but she she there's no. Uh, I don't know if she can hear us. And she, uh, yeah, she just said hello. How you doing, Katie? I'm trying to get you in here. Hold on one second. Um, let me try something, bro. I'm going to take a bathroom break, too. I'll be right back. Get her online. Uh, me and media will be back. Right back. Uh, and uh... All right. Hold on. All right. Everybody just hang tight, man. These guys had to take a quick whiz. All right. Okay, to let you guys know tonight why we're having this quick thing. Hell yeah, radio night. Paulie D's hell yeah, radio. Uh, the guitar player for Kicks will be on. I'll update you on that. All right, so we're waiting for Mr. Vez to come back and Johnny D. Okay, Kate. Hi, I hope you're having a great day today, Kate. How are you doing? Hold on one minute. Hey, uh, type in nice little hi there, Kate. All right. Okay, Kate, I'm trying to pull you in here if I can. Um, just give me a second. Let's see how this is done. All right. All right, we're back. So we can't get Katie in there. I don't know if she has like a block on her video. Um, I don't know if it's on her side. Um, I can't uh, unlock the video. All right. Uh, we got some other uh, people. All right. Hold on. I got uh, Frosty Kite and Katie B and David 
David Bridge. All right. I don't know how to work this. I'm working. Hang tight. How you guys doing? Hey, what's up? Good you afternoon. Doing, I'm fine. How are you? I got to ask you a question, Dave. We're discussing, we're doing this thing. It's going to be independent artists, right? I don't know if you're familiar with me. I own Hell Yeah Radio. I played in a band called Ritual. Uh, 